Hi folks, welcome once again to Mr. H's weekly recap. Um, just hanging out here in my classroom with my friend Alex. Um, we're getting ready to give you guys kind of another weekly rundown of what's been going on in room 1925 here at the high school. Um, big kind of intro thing I'll just kind of throw out there for the benefit of our regular viewers. Uh, we have conferences coming up here on March 9th and 10th. March 9th is going to be a half day. March 10th is going to be a full day conference. Um, I've sent letters home with your students kind of detailing. Uh, kind of how conferences are going to work, how you can sign up for a time with me, and uh, what you can do to kind of prep and prepare for that. So please uh, kind of take a look at those letters, fill out anything that's applicable to you, and please return those back um, by March 3rd so we can kind of gauge interest and in sort of what folks would like to do with those conference days. Um, and if you have any questions, obviously uh, give me a call, shoot me an email, and we'll try to get those questions addressed. Uh, this week, because we do have the short week because of the extended President's Day weekend that we had, um, we're not doing a huge amount of stuff, but we'll try to give you guys a rundown anyway. Uh, in the Gov classes, we're right now in the midst of wrapping up our econ unit. Um, basically, the two topics we have left to cover before our exam on March 6th are going to be uh, talking a little bit about collective bargaining and labor unions, and students are going to be working on a simulation where they actually take on the role of a union member or a management member and basically they take on the perception of negotiating a labor contract for a local hospital so we're now in the midst of kicking that off um, this is a simulation that's usually a lot of fun but also uh, one that kind of shows the students in great depth kind of how tedious negotiations can be and they use all the all the tools that real labor unions have at their disposal um, you know arbitration fact finding uh, even a strike if they feel like that's appropriate or a lockout if you're management and so all those tools apply um, and it really gives students a better understanding of how that process of negotiations works so we're wrapping that up and then our last topic in the unit is talking a little personal finance talking about credit cards about loans uh, about student loans in particular and also about personal debt and so we're going to kind of wrap up the unit with a little bit of that. And then students are going to move from there into our first politics unit, which is going to be discussions of political parties, um, kind of how elections work, how voting works, how political ideology plays a role um, in the election process and stuff like that. So look for that kind of more so probably middle of next week as we kind of wrap up econ um, and we start moving into kind of more of the government and politics side of the class. Uh, for the honors guys in world history, uh, Tuesday we gave out our first DBQ essay. It's an essay that focuses on the causes and influence of the Reformation, which is a topic we've been looking at the last couple class periods. Um, students have until March 6th to basically complete that essay and kind of compose their first draft. Uh, what I do is I then go through every essay with a fine-tooth comb, and we give students a lot of feedback on their first DBQ experience so that they have kind of that information to build off of. Um, this is great training for students who are getting ready to take those AP classes um, next year as seniors, but also it's good for any student who wants to take a college-level history class. Um, the expectations as far as writing, how that's scored, all that stuff is paramount. Um, and really, we hope kind of students become better uh, understanders and, you know, kind of uh, I guess you could say presenters of history as a result of it. Um, we're rapidly approaching the end of Unit 1. Um, we're finishing up the Reformation and a little bit of the Counter-Reformation. Uh, and then from there we do kind of a crash course in the big monarchies of the period. So we study a little European monarchy, we study a little Ottomans, a little you know Chinese dynasty, a little feudal Japan, um, and we try to give a really good overview of how absolute monarchy kind of becomes the name of the game as we move from the Middle Ages into more of the modern period and we start to get into the 1600s, the age of exploration, kind of talking a little bit uh, about the explorers or what students might remember about the explorers from their earlier history classes. And then this Friday we have our first guest speaker in world history and we have Dr. Donald Grable who's an expert on uh, not just Reformation history but more particularly uh, Amish and Mennonite communities, which is kind of an offshoot of the Reformation, kind of as a result of that. Uh, we want to bring a little bit of local flavor to the topics we discuss because they are so distant and so kind of out there. Um, so we want to try to bring a little bit of a local connection that students can relate to. He will be here on Friday. Um, students will have a presentation from him, a little bit of a lesson from him, and then a little bit of a Q&A session, a chance to ask him questions. Um, so we look forward to that and hopefully uh, get some good feedback as well. Uh, again, if you have any questions about class, please feel free to contact me or, or Alex here, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you again, and best wishes on the rest of the week.